Our main reason for coming here today is to is to test, I suppose, test the government, test our justice system by submitting a request that a particular judge is impeached. But it's only the tip of the iceberg because we have got considerable problems with some of our senior judges as well, who are to all intents and purposes basically making up the rules as they go along. Now today we submitted a written complaint to the Chief Justice Susan Denham and this is a short extract from that complaint. It is simply not good enough, Justice Denham, that your only response to serious malfeasance and misfeasance by your subordinates is to declare that there is no facility at present to complain about the conduct of a judge. And this is what we've been told, folks. We have tried to make complaints about judges who are engaged in behaviours which can only be described as unlawful and unconstitutional, i.e. criminal behaviour. But all we get back is there is no facility in the government, there's no facility at the office of the Chief, the Chief Justice to make a complaint about a judge. We are saying that to allow such glaring misconduct and abuse of the judicial system by the very people entrusted with its administration is to reinforce the perception by ordinary citizens that there is, in effect, no probity in our justice system and no means of curbing serious misconduct on the part of our judges. It is regrettable that in the absence of any credible system of accountability from within the ranks of the various state agencies, that ordinary citizens have no other recourse other than to accept these gross injustices and abuses of power and position, or that we take the initiative ourselves and refuse point blank to comply with the directions of registrars and judges who are in effect engaged in clear and obvious offences as against the administration of justice. Ironically, what they're doing is actually acting in contempt of their own courts. In short, that we should refuse to accommodate improper or illegal activities by agents of the state, most especially by those in highly paid positions of power and authority who seem to think that they are above the law. Accordingly, Justice Denham, and this is very important, folks, this is the move that we feel that we have to do now as a community. Accordingly, Justice Denham, and with all due respect to those in the ranks of our judiciary who are endeavouring to, uh, to uphold the law and the Constitution in accordance with their solemn oath of office, we hereby declare our intention to lodge formal criminal complaints with Angarda Shiokona in each and every case where it can be demonstrated that any given judge has acted in blatant disregard for the law, for the Constitution and or for the respective court rules. This is not only the moral duty of any decent person, but, as we understand it, it is also a requirement by law that we do not further facilitate or otherwise participate in illegal activity and that it is our civic duty to report the same to the respective authorities. We would therefore be obliged, Justice Denham, if you would acknowledge that in circumstances where judges engage in serious misconduct, and in circumstances where, as you said, there is no facility at present to complain about the conduct of a judge, that the lodging of criminal complaints is not only the right and proper response for concerned citizens, but indeed it is the only response available to us if we are to address in any real way this epidemic of misfeasance and malfeasance at the heart of our justice system. And then we thank Justice Denham for attention and we do sincerely hope this time that we will get a response from Justice Denham as opposed to one of her junior clerks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.